Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a talk through video because I feel like I've been doing all my videos with voiceovers, which is the truth. I live in a house with six other people, or is it six altogether? I think it's six altogether. It's a lot of people, a lot of things going on, so in order for me to actually have a moment where there's silence is not often. So I'm going to try to do this talk through video before everybody gets home. <laughs> Today what we're going to be doing is a um my everyday look i'm like thinking <laughs> so i'm gonna be using very minimal products this is also great for somebody who is in high school um college just you know kind of running out the door kind of makeup nothing too crazy something that i would do if i did indeed wear makeup every day because i'm not gonna lie this is pretty much what i do every day just go out the door like this i'm not gonna you know put on the amount of makeup that I put on to go to the club that I do for work. So most of the time it's a little bit of concealer and mascara just so that I don't look like I rolled out of bed and I'm dead because <laughs> that's how I feel most of the time. We're just going to get right into it. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple different things also like the concealer. The concealers that I use could range from my Pro Longwear which is in NC30 and it's like my holy grail concealer but Sometimes I may want to, you know, I don't want to use this all the time. It, it's expensive and it's more of heavy duty. So in that case, I'll use my um, NYX HD concealer or my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. And these are the two uh, drugstore concealers that I stand by pretty much. So I'll use either one of these. Um, but if you do want the under eye, if you have, you know, a couple of bags or you feel like you want that to last all day, I'd go in with just a little bit of a heavy duty concealer and you can put that under your eyes, conceal any blemishes, and it can almost act like a foundation, but don't. it's not gonna be so intense and heavy. You get what I'm talking about. First thing I do is, um, I already have my face moisturized, and that's, I don't prime or anything during the week or if I'm trying to do something fast. I just wanna make sure that my skin is nice and soft and moisturized and my hands are clean, don't worry. First thing I do is I do my eyebrows after my skin is moisturized. So again, during the week, I don't want anything too crazy. My eyebrows, I don't want them to be dramatic if I'm doing very minimal makeup because then I'm going to look a little crazy. So I'll usually go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder in Brunette. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, it's completely empty. It broke and I didn't know that it... Nah. Alright, well I'm going to use what's left because this is literally how much I would use anyway. Wow, I'm really sad. Like now I really have to buy another one. <sighs> so my eyebrows are pretty full to begin with or they don't really have too much going on where um, they're, you know, I have... <laughs> there's a lot of times where I see like people with half an eyebrow or something like that. I don't have that problem, thank goodness. So. All I have to really do is fill in the little sparse areas and just make them look a little bit more defined. So I'm just going to line that right there and follow through with the brow and just do it like that. And then I'm going to spoolie it, spoolie the heck out of it pretty much. Okay. So. Just keep spooling it until you feel like you've gotten, you know, you got as much as, it blended as much as you want. So then I'm gonna do the same to the other eyebrow. And if you guys notice, I'm not taking it all the way into the inner corner. I'm going to blend that in slightly once I got my entire line done or you know, the bottom of the eyebrow into the tail and just wherever it's sparse. And then I'm gonna take my spoolie and blend it into there because you don't wanna really put any product most of the time in the front of the brow because that's where it looks really harsh and fake. And nobody wants to have fake looking brows. <laughs> All right. So now that we have our brows on, I know it looks a little crazy. I don't really, I'm like a little red from spooling, but I don't know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Now, after my brows, I always do my brows first. I don't really know exactly why. I feel like, I don't know. And then everyday makeup, you don't really have to, but I always do my brows first. I get them out of the way. 
And also, if you have fuller brows, brows, if you have fuller brows, you don't have to worry about filling them in extra because you already have them going on. You're, you're already popping. So now I'm going to go in with some concealer and I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the number 20 Sand. This is my favorite color because it's nice and yellow. Um, I don't like pinky based anything on my face as far as foundation, concealer, lip, anything like that. I'm not talking about blushes or anything. So now this is mine. This is my personal one. So I could go ahead and just put that under my eye. And if you have any blemishes or anything like that, that's where you would want to conceal as well. But my skin has been pretty good lately. So I'm just going to tap that right in there. And if you have any darkness on your actual eyelids, you can put that right on your eyelids too. Right like that. Oh, and not poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> and then I have my sponge here, so I'm just going to make this a little bit faster and put that right in there. Okay, so we have concealer on, brows on. Now we're going to set the concealer and the rest of my face with a either a foundation, a powder foundation, or something like this. This is a medium, medium, it's the color medium plus, but it's a mineralized skin finishes powders, skin finish powders. I just love them. They're very soft and nice on the skin and they look really beautiful. And they, I feel like they give an airbrushed effect without giving too much coverage. So we're just gonna do that. So we're setting under the eyes as well as um, all over the face. All right, so that's pretty much that. Now to um, add a little bit of definition in your eye, just gonna take a fluffy brush and my other mineralized, mineralized skin finish and Give Me Sun, and I'm gonna just dip right in there and just add this to the crease of my eye. And this is just gonna add some definition to my eye, but without looking like I had tons of eyeshadow on, because again, this is so you know minimal that if you do anything overdone, it's it's gonna stand out too much, I think. So that's it, and you just wanna blend it out. Like that. So you have a little bit of definition in your crease without looking too crazy. Next thing you wanna do is, since I'm already on the eyes and I got away from the face, I'm going to put on some mascara, which is a must for me. Again, if I don't want to do anything, concealer and uh, concealer and foundation, concealer and mascara, I'm good to go. So my two favorite mascaras right now are the Telescopic. This was my holy grail for a long time. And now I've fallen in love with the MAC Extend Play um, Lash. So I'm going to use both of them. First, I'm going to use my Telescopic. And I really sit here and I separate my lashes. I don't just do one swipe. I really go in and make sure that I'm getting every single lash and I'm flaring the other ones out, the other ones, the end of my lashes out because that's gonna give you the best effect. And I go on top and I sweep it up and on top and I try to get every single lash, like I said. So that's the telescopic. I do the same thing on this side. You almost always want to use your or go in your bottom lash line here because this is going to open up the eye as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing right here. Now I'm going to use my extend to play and just go in with a little bit more. I don't want it to look clumpy, but I'd rather have long separated dark lashes than clumpy lashes. That's just Oh, let's get mascara everywhere while you're at it. You can totally go in with some bronzer right now, but because this is so minimal, like I said, this is like, I'm not trying to be here all day with makeup. This is like a five minute face if I'm not sitting here filming and talking to you guys. So now I'm going to go in with my blush. And my opinion is to use something that has some kind of glow to it so that you're getting like a highlighted effect without going in the extra step of a highlighter. So I'm using Luminoso by Milani. And it's like a peachy pinky nude. Pinchy, peachy pinky nude. It's like a peachy pink color. 
I feel like I'm used to saying peachy pinky nude for um, lipsticks. And I'm just applying that to the apples on my cheek and sweeping it back, especially because I don't have anything to contour my face. I'm just using it kind of to contour it as well and just give a highlighted effect to the skin. And then I just go back in with my powder blush and just blend a little bit. Um, I know I have a little bit of mascara underneath the eye, but like I said, I go back in later and clean that. But for time's sake, especially because my camera is dying, I'm going to use my lipstick. Now, um, I would use a tinted lip balm or something that's, you know, just nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too bright or anything. Unless you want to, that's totally fine. But I'm saying for every day, just, I want it to look kind of natural. So right now I'm using Just Peachy by Wet n Wild, which is one of my favorite colors. And I'm just going to put it, you know, I'm not trying to put it in the sense of it looking full coverage. So kind of just dab it and sweep it and then distribute it so it kind of gives like a naturalness to the uh, lips. And then if you really want to, you can go in with a little bit of lip gloss. This is just what I have offhand right now. This is the... Um, merengue color by NYX, their butter lip glosses, so I'll just put a tiny bit of this. Because these are pretty pigmented and I don't want this color on my lips right now. So, that is that. So this would be pretty much the final look if, you know, like I said, very minimal, not trying to go too crazy, but if you did want to add some liquid liner to the top just to I don't know, intensify it, make your, um, maybe your lashes aren't as long and you want to make it look a little bit darker and make you look like you have more lashes, you would want to put some kind of liner. So I'm going to put some on just so that you guys can see. I'm using the um, NYC liquid liner. And this is really not my favorite, but again, this is just what I have on hand right now. And I'm going to just line my lash line. And you want to do this really thin if you are doing this. You don't want it to be too crazy. If you want to do a little flick at the end. Okay, next time. Okay guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. I added a little bit of a wing just to give it a little something extra, but again, very minimal, not trying to go too crazy. Um, I can literally do this makeup look in, in my car, like in five minutes if need be, but again, I'm filming for you guys, so it takes a little bit longer. If you wanna add some Fix Plus at the end, that's awesome too. Makes It just brings everything together, even if you're not wearing a lot of makeup and it keeps you hydrated and refreshed throughout the day, and that always makes your skin look really nice, so. That's pretty much it. I just want to apologize for not having up any videos last week because there was construction going on in my house. And again, I have a million people living here. So uh, it's really hard to get a video in when there's a lot of things going on. On top of that, I was pretty busy. So um, yeah, I can't you know put all the blame on them. But And I will hopefully be able to get more videos out for you guys now that it's not so crazy. Um, I have a get ready with me coming up before this or after this. Let me know if you guys like get ready with me's because I do them a lot because they're easy for me to film and I'd rather get some kind of video up for you guys than nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.